Right guys, welcome to another product review. This is the uh, Ridge Monkey Escape XF1 Bivy review. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I acquired this Bivy and why before we get into the review. This was bought for French sessions. So going away for a week and having a bit of luxury while I'm there. This is not a bivy for UK anglers that are doing quick sessions or moving around on a, on a barra, which is pretty much my UK fishing. As anyone knows who watches my vlogs, I'm very mobile. I like to move around and find the fish. This is not a bivy for that because the fact is this thing weighs a ton. So you can't pussyfoot around that. This is a beast. So trying to lift this around the lake is a no-go. You might want to do it, but I think after that one session of trying it, you're not really going to be doing it again. <laughs> so um, yeah, this thing is heavy. So this has never been out of the bag since I've acquired it. I bought it, put it away for France, and it stayed there waiting for a France trip to have an, happen that never happened. So uh, as we all know, COVID's pretty much destroyed any uh, hopes of us getting out there for such a long time that the, uh, the fact feels like it's an illegal thing that's never gonna happen in our lifetime now. So yeah, so that was the sole aim. So it was never meant for my UK fishing at all and it hasn't even gone into my UK fishing at all. So as you're seeing this, I'm seeing this. Never had it out of the bag. So let's have an eye opener and let's get on with the review. actually probably the easiest thing I've ever put up so I've got the Tempest and I've, had the, I've got the Nash hired this was easy so it's a case of it's got this X frame just climb inside and pop it together and you've got that rigidness that's actually really impressed me I ain't gonna lie really impressed me so So as you see it now, we've got a full freestanding bivy. Just got to tidy it up. So, if you don't want the door, because it's a nice day, buckles in the way but let's see there we go so yeah that now fully detachable so we've got the rear vent that actually fully opens as well, so it isn't a, just a mesh. You can actually fully open that and uh, pass things through to people, I guess, if you want. Use it as a dinner hatch. Use it to chuck stuff into the bin behind the bivy. Do whatever you want. So over here, separate one. So there's your X frame and your side vents. Just come into here, we've got some little uh, pockets there. They're handy. And they are rubberized as well. So if you look at material, that's bang on. So I'll just take you around the back up there. So I can have a good look. And the other side, the other part of the X-frame. And a nice side airflow vent again there and some more rubber pockets. Do you know what, this is uh, actually impressing me more and more. <laughs> so this is the ripstop material. 
Now that is very thick. Feels nice, that. Right, well this is the uh, Velcro-in ground sheet. So let's get that in here. So you've got these uh, magnetic rod straps here. That's fantastic. No worry about your, uh, your Velcro starting to wear. Strong magnets as well. So here's the toggles. So if you wanna give this an extra um, bit of security by tagging it down via there, you can. So I've got this uh, frame at the back. So you can run this for putting your fly sheet on. So obviously it's give you a little bit more stability. Myself, don't think I'd bother with that part. It's a bit, uh, Overkill unless you're in extreme winds. Also in there, this is your uh, front tension bar there if you want to stick that in. And in the bag, you've also got some clips. So you can, underneath it, you can get a bit more strength there between the peak and the opening of the bivy. Right, so sitting down inside the bivy itself now, you can see here from the area I've got, there's ample room. My butt here is exactly where the bed chair would be. So as you can see, my feet ain't even come into the, the opening of the bivy door. So loads of room. Long stay anglers are gonna love this. You can have your bait boats, your bags, your buckets. Whatever you wanna keep in your bivy can be kept in there leaving you plenty of room to get out of the bivy. So, the only elephant in the room is the weight. Very heavy, very, very heavy. You can't take that fact away from it. But are you gonna buy a Ridge Monkey Escape bivy for overnighters? I don't think so. Are you gonna buy it for 48 hours even? Probably not. The anglers who are going to buy this are going to be buying it for French trips, trips around Europe, long stay trips in the UK where they can drop it off at the swim. That's where these are going to be coming to their own. And Ridge Monkey, I'm sure, haven't even thought about making these for mobile anglers or short session anglers. They've made this for the sole purpose of long stay. So if I was to say anything for the future of these, I would say, don't get me wrong, I'm no expert, I don't make bivvies, so I'm not gonna pretend to be a know-it-all there. But I'd say if they could make this bivy with a lighter frame, and maybe even a lighter material, because a lot of the weight does seem to be in the material because it's so high quality. If they could do that, then the fact of how quick this thing goes up and the lightness, then you've pretty much got yourself a, a bivy for all reasons. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm, I'm well impressed with it. And to be honest, I can't believe it's taken me so long to get it out of the garage and, and out of the bag. But I've had no use for it. I didn't intend to use it for UK sessions at all. It was always just for going abroad. But I was really genuinely impressed at how quick that went up. A case of put it on the floor, pull it out in two sections there, just one, two, up with your X frame, and it's up, it's rigid. As you can see, it's not pegged in, but that is so strong. So, yeah, if you want a long session bivy, then you're not worried about the weight, definitely a bivy to look at. 